Hi everyone, this is Achal Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll discuss how you can create different date levels on the same axis. So, um, for illustration, I have a lollipop chart over here, uh, which illustrates um, the bars by uh, day. And the day format represents each bar as the weekday. Now, if I choose month from year, then these bars get adjusted and show me the data for the months. Um, if I choose week, then it shows me data week wise. So, as you can see that the axis is same and the date level is getting updated. We'll also learn how to um, create uh, different formats for these dates. So, suppose for month, uh, you don't want the short names. Instead, you want the full names of the months. You can do that. Or for day, you don't want Sunday, Monday. You want something else uh, like maybe uh, just the number of uh, weekdays. Uh, so, you can do that as well. So, this is a custom functionality and we we'll learn how to do this. So, let's go to a new sheet and let's create a new parameter. So, this parameter will allow the user to choose the date level. Alright, so the data type should be string and let's create a list. So, I want year. Next I want is month and week and then day. Okay, uh, let's show this. All right, now we'll create a calculated field. So, all right. So, if um, my parameter is selected to year, then now we'll um, use the date function called as date name. Now date part is year. I want to extract just the year and the date which uh, the date field which I want to use is for the date. Okay. Else if choose date level equals month then date name. Month would be my part here and order date. Alright. Now, else if choose date level equals V, then date name V order date. Else if choose date level equals day, then date name day or the date and. So, you can either use day over here or weekday. So, um, weekday will give you the values as Sunday, Monday and we'll see what day gives here okay now um so this was the first step this, this is the basic calculation that you would use now to customize your values like for month you don't want the entire name you just want the first four letters let's say so here you'll have to add another function which is left Okay, and so you want the left four letters, so four over here. And uh, suppose for week, uh, you want left three letters, then three. Okay. 
let's build our visualization so we want the date level and uh, let's bring in sales first and then the date level all right uh, choose date level all right so year is selected for now let's paint this to month okay so it's giving the first four uh, letters from the month then maybe you want week then you can see it shows the week numbers and then day so it shows you the days of the month if you uh, write week day over here it will give you the days of the week so that's how you can customize your calculation and have different date levels on the same axis that's all for this video thank you